All right, so I'm gonna go over how to diagnose the coveted pink wire on uh, the 99 ignitions. Um, I have everything taken apart right now because my forks are out to be resealed. On the stock OEM ignition, if you take this bottom cover off, you'll see all four leads. The one I'm holding in my hand right now is a knockoff, uh, just a universal motorcycle ignition. So, right where the green wire is on this, for this connector, there would be if this is in our diode in line here, it looks kind of like a little resistor. Um, so these universal units do not have that, so it doesn't change it from 12 volts to 9. Um, so if you follow that out, you can see the pink wires right here. So that'll be connected to your inner diode, and it comes down to this harness right here. So you can check your voltage of the wire on either side when the ignition is on and the kill switch is off. You have to make sure the kill switch is off or it won't get power. Um, so I'll show you how to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna diagnose the uh, voltage, read the voltage on the ignition. So we're gonna cut the ignition on, make sure the kill switch is off. If you're, uh, probably won't hear it prime if you're having issues with this. So we're gonna make sure positive lead is in the back of the connector or either side should do for this. And uh, just make sure you have a solid connection in there. And then you're gonna take your negative lead and find a good spot on the frame. Mine's polished, so it uh, makes easy contact. Otherwise, you might have to dig it in a little bit. But anyways, so reading nine volts there, which it should. All right, so I'm gonna test this universal ignition. All right, so we've got it on, kill switch off. So we've got lights on the instrument cluster. I'm gonna throw the positive lead into the pink wire in the back of the connector. Got a good connection there. And then to ground, I'm not reading any voltage. So I thought I remembered it reading 12 volts through there previously, but it was also a different universal ignition that was in it. But either way, you're not getting nine volts through. So just to recap, you want to be testing off of this wire on this connector. Um, you can trace it out from your ignition. It should be up there if you actually had your triple clamp on. And uh, then just make sure you have a good ground if you're uh if you don't have a nice clean spot on your frame you just have to dig the terminal around and you'll uh you should be able to read it just fine um so if you're getting 12 volts there like i had remembered from the other connector you can use a voltage converter all right, so if that pink wire on your ignition connector is reading 12 volts, you have two options. You can either buy an OEM ignition, and they're like somewhere around 200 bucks, or you can use one of these voltage converters. So you have 12 volts in, nine volts out. So you're just gonna hook them up. You can test it on your battery like this. So I've got your negative to the negative terminal of the battery, positive to the positive terminal and just have them out here to the meter right now. So you can see it's 9.26, where obviously the battery itself is uh, 12 volts. So you can get around buying a new ignition with that. So I have the negative terminals tied together 
and attached to the frame, then the positive on the 12 volt end to the battery, and then the other positive end will go to the ECU, the pink wire on the ignition connector, and that will also give you nine volts. All right, so I tested the voltage converter actually wired in to one of these cheap little uh, Chinese universal ignition switches, right? So I'm gonna cut the key on. Kill switch. Get a fuel prime, fuel pump priming. All right, so it is possible to get one of these ignitions to work with a, with a voltage converter. Um, now I, I'll post a, uh, a little, just a quick hand-drawn uh, wiring diagram for how I did this. Um, it's more doodles than anything, but hopefully it can uh, help you out. It does require the ignition to actually work. Um, so you'll need to uh, check the voltage on, let's see, it is the red and black wires on this switch, which would be the red with a black stripe and the solid red on the harness side. You need to make sure you get 12 volts from those when the ignition is on. And one will give you voltage when the ignition is off. You wanna make sure you don't use that one. Um, for your 12 volts in on the converter, you want to make sure you use the one that cuts power when the ignition is off. 